Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jello and this is my review of Stellatum on the Nintendo Switch. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, do leave a like and subscribe because I release around 3 to 4 videos a week. So don't forget also to hit that notification bell to let you know whenever a new video drops. Thank you to the publisher Sometimes You for the review code. Stellatum is a scrolling twin-stick shooter set in a time when a comet threatens to crash on your planet. Now because of this, you become dragged into the thick of it and find yourself going on several missions to blow up baddies in outer space. Now the story in this game really isn't something to write home about, nor is it going to be the reason for you to play through this game. Now it's all about the aforementioned twin-stick shooting action and the roguelite elements baked into the gameplay. Now let me start off with the graphics in this game. So the graphics of the game are a mixed bag. The game is trying for a semi-realistic visual style that fails to stay consistent throughout the game. Some still shots shown between loading and menu screens are low resolution and these are very noticeable when playing docked on a TV. The spaceship you control looks like a static image that rotates and moves with the same animation regardless of which direction you propel your ship. It's like that the thrusters are blowing away from behind your ship even though your ship is actually moving backwards. Now the firepower coming out of your ship, whether they're bullets or missiles, looks unimpressive in my opinion and a little bit skinny, like pins flying through the area, as with the enemy bullets as well. Enemy crafts also tend to look samey, and this is noticeable as missions can go really long for a shoot 'em up. Then the static shifting background of space is okay, I guess, but it could have been a little bit better. Audio is also a mixed bag where the background music is almost no music at all, while the sudden explosions are very overpowering compared to the almost silent projectiles that your ship and the enemy crafts emit, although you can mix the volume of these components up in the options menu. There are two game modes in Stellatum, the campaign mode and the arena mode. The campaign mode has around 80 missions spread out across different locations, each with their own enemy types and bosses to take down, and arena mode provides an endless type of gameplay. Now, Things to note as you play this game are that number one, the main guns overheat, which means that you have to time when to back away from the trigger and when to let them have it. Now the good thing is the cooling period is short if and when your guns do overheat. Secondly, special weapons do have a cooldown, so you can only use them on occasion and sparingly. And third, the ship you control felt really floaty in my opinion, but I guess that should be expected. This is outer space after all. And after every mission, you get to upgrade your ship with the components and material that you've collected. Here is where the roguelite elements come in, because you can spend your materia to craft components to upgrade your ship in multiple ways. You can craft new guns, engines, special weapons, and armor, making you more formidable in your next mission. I initially had a hard time with the upgrade menu as I personally found it confusing to navigate and I also had difficulty crafting and equipping whatever part I wanted to. But after much trial and error though, and spending my materia by mistake on things that I didn't actually need, I finally got a grasp on how to use the upgrade menu. So I guess from what you've been hearing so far in this review, and initially myself coming into this game, honestly I was unimpressed. The menus, the presentation, they just didn't work for me. And don't get me wrong, I'm a huge shmup fan and I love the genre, but this game didn't really keep my attention. Heck, there were some even typos that I encountered in the game that really ruined the experience even more. However, after spending a little bit of time with the game, after upgrading my ship a couple of times and looking past these shortcomings, there is some fun to be had with Stellatum. It may not come close to the same level as the more popular shoot em ups, but Stellatum is a decent entry in the genre, even though it is a little bit rough around the edges. And so this has been my review of Stellatum. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know whenever I come up with a new video. And share this video with a friend that loves video games and loves shmups. And with all that said, thank you once again for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one.